So I saw one of my Facebook friends post this question today on Facebook. You know how people ask you questions some, sometimes to make you think. And she said, um, well, the question said, Welcome to Bear Pantry Talk. This is the sister channel to the Bear Pantry Show. This is where you're going to find honest reviews, exciting unboxings, do-it-yourself projects, and engaging commentary. She didn't write it. I think she just reposted it. Um, you're talking to this dude on the phone for a while. You're really liking each other. And um, you're going to go for your first meeting, you know, date. And he says, Please come natural. Don't wear any makeup, no weave, no this, no that. Um, would you go? And usually I don't answer these things that they post on Facebook, but I got hot. And I had to answer because me and Jada had really, really strong feelings about this. Oh, this camera likes to move. And my answer is no, I wouldn't go. Because one, that's how a man starts to dictate and control you right away dictate to you and control you because why would it bother him if you came at your best if you were going on a job interview wouldn't you get cleaned up put on a little dab of makeup and look your best to get that job you know so why would he want you to present not necessarily at your worst because some people are beautiful without makeup but to me, it was a control thing. That's all I saw was the control. And uh, when Joe first met me, I was at home, at my mom's home. And we didn't expect to be meeting. It's not like we said we're going to be meeting for a date. We didn't know each other. I didn't have on no makeup. My glasses were Coke bottle bottom glasses. I was cleaning the house. So you know I look raggedy. And Joe was not interested. But then again, he didn't come there to meet me. He came there to give my aunt a ride, right? Because she didn't drive. And then I thought Joe looked handsome. And so I reached out to Joe. And we started talking. And I'm no dummy. I've never been a dummy. So Joe saw that I was intelligent and he became interested. But then when we met again after that for the first time, not a date, but just meeting. Okay, let's meet. Come to my piano recital or whatever. I put on a little bit of makeup. And back then... A little bit of makeup meant some face powder and a little bit of lipstick. Right, Joy? It wasn't like eyeshadows and stuff like that. I didn't know how to do it. I just learned how to do that the other day when I started to do my show. Mm. Honest to God, I did not know anything about threading my eyebrow. I didn't know how to put on eyeliner, eye makeup, yada yada. It was just basically foundation, powder, lipstick. And um, not that I thought that I was all that naturally beautiful, but I just didn't know how to do it. And so my next thing is not all people are as naturally beautiful as they think they are. And there's nothing wrong with that. Whatever little blemishes you have, there's something to fix that up. So um, I suppose the thing went deeper than that, though. Like maybe the guy wanted to make sure that, you know, he wasn't going to get somebody that looks like far different. That was... <laughs> Shut up, Joe. Well, Shut I see, up. I want to see what he's getting. He don't want no <laughs> pussy in a bag. <laughs> Because some people, some women do do the most this. Like Kim Kardashian didn't look anything like how she looks now. When she was like in high school and stuff. Nothing. I mean, there's no resemblance to well, me. Well, if I were her, mm -hmm. I'd go. But I put on some makeup and see where the fuck oh. See where she can, see where he coming from. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. When, when I'm doing big things, like if I'm going to be on TV, I put in here pieces, little clippings. Jada puts them in for me. But just regular for the show, I just keep my damn ball head the way it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, you, you don't want to look entirely... When you put on makeup, my mom taught me this. My mom says, even if you wear makeup all day long, you don't want to look not like yourself because when you take it off, people are going to go, oh, what the hell? Like, have you ever seen B Loves without makeup? She's not an ugly person. But she doesn't look like the bee loves that you see on camera. She looks so different to me. And that's what I aim for. I don't want to look different when I take my makeup off than how I look when I put it on. And right now, the only makeup I have on is the lipstick. Usually, I'd put some foundation on. But right now, when the winter started, I don't know what's happening. Um, it looks okay. Just for the bike rides. You know what I mean? But to go on camera in the kitchen, yeah, I need some makeup. I, I look hella tore up if I don't put on some makeup. So the um, my eyes look sunken in. I look like maybe I'm not well. 
because my eyes look tired you know this is without makeup on the cooking show and I don't want people to be distracted by that saying oh my god you look tired hon get some rest oh I hate when people tell me that oh god that's the same as people saying did you put on some weight you know all the people think they could tell you that right yeah other people that don't know you feel like they could come and tell you oh you look so tired get some rest to me when they say you look tired get some rest it's like you look sick that's what I hear in my brain so I don't want to get that I want people to just watch a cooking show and, and, and deal with the food you know so we're gonna go on the ride I don't think we're gonna go further than the 4.2 that away west because I don't have my bike shorts because I washed last night and I asked Joshua to put the clothes to dry because I knew I was gonna fall asleep he said yes and normally he's good at it but he didn't put it to dry when I woke up the clothes were all stinky so I had to wash them all over and they're washing right now so I don't have my my bike shorts grab this for me baby 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 My mask is so wet, I'm gonna have to change it out. <laughs> the oranges are pretty much done, guys. But Joe is still finding a couple. Is that a pink corsa? Yeah. Beautiful. I love black animals. <laughs> I love black animals. We have a black lab. Okay. I love black animals. Isn't this gorgeous, guys? Beautiful. Oh. Hey, puppy. I know he's not a puppy. <laughs> 11 months. 11 months? Yeah. Oh my god, it's a puppy. <laughs> the only reason I know that dog is because Sherry Shepherd owns one. And they're very gentle giants. Oh, as I was telling you. The reason why we have a lot of fountains in this street, well, in this town, see, a fountain over there. Oh, this has some good zoom on this little camera. A fountain over there. A fountain over there. And then the big fountain in the middle, all the way yonder, you see it? It's because our town is called Fontana. Look at the zoom on this thing, guys. It's called Fontana. And it says it means many fountains. That's what I heard. Who knows? If it's the truth. Just wanted to show you guys the sun fountain. Normally I open the door for Joe, but I got fixated with you guys. Push the window up, babe. I'm telling my my awesome members that the atmosphere smells like wet dog outside. It don't smell good today, huh? It smells stale. It smells like how it did in the longer layers. Have you guys seen that movie, The Long Layers, by Stephen King? I mean, when you watch it in today's time with all the high-tech stuff that they can do now, it looks so cheesy and cheap. But that storyline is just... Man, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Is it drizzling? Is it drizzling? It is, huh? Do you think these people like Christmas, guys? Dang. They doing the most though. 
How you look for? The little black knife. The little knife? Yeah. See if I know if one outside? I know I washed one a little while ago. I know I washed one too. You guys, this is Vlogmas Day 12. Oh my goodness. 13 more days till Christmas. So let me tell you what happened. So Jada's friend, um, Damien, gave us this George Foreman grill a couple Christmases ago. I don't know why it started to stick. You know, everything started to stick in there. And every time the kids cook in the George Foreman grill, we want to die. Asthma attack, smoke, <coughs> all this stuff. So Joshua said, throw it in the trash. So I thought they threw it in the trash for sure. So we bought one. But we, Joe bought one off of his cash apps. <laughs> you guys know Joe has a, an OnlyFans, right? <laughs> so we bought one and it was supposed to come yesterday. It didn't come. It was supposed to come today. And finally it came right when the kids are already done cooking. You don't find a knife, Josh? No, I'll just use the box cutter. Hold on. Oh, box cutter, the cutter open. It's not out there? I didn't see the new spots. Let me look in here then. See what I did? It was yeah. like hidden under these potato peeler things. Come baby. You want to just bring the box? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna wash the counter down when it's done. Alright. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I wanted Jada to do her concert, but Jada did not practice and I'm not gonna put her on if she doesn't practice. I'm a really harsh manager. You don't want me to manage you. Is there an address anywhere? Make sure. I'll see it. How did it come without an address, Joshua? It's probably on the, this is the bottom of it. Okay. We open it from the bottom? Yeah. We're so stupid. No. Oh, it doesn't matter, no. I guess. No. This box looks like it's had its day. Mm -hmm. But I need to stop to ship that cake. <laughs> Here you go, Winnie. There's a box for you to play with, baby. Wipe this down a little bit. <clears throat> oh, I forgot that we got the white one. Guess why? The white one was $30, the black one was $40, <laughs> and the red 50. one was like $60. I was like, what the hell? Just because of the color? That's, um, that's crazy how that is. That's how, mm -hmm. that's how it is with memory, too, for computers. You want red memory? Mm, it doesn't mean anything, it's just red. Mm. I'm fine, I got the cheap one. Although I do like a, a different color camera. Like, if, if, I, if I were to buy my purple camera again, I want it to be purple again. <clears throat> and it's more expensive at um, Amazon. Yeah. The purple one's more expensive at Amazon than the black one. But at Best Buy, it's the same price, $209. Hmm. At Amazon, it's, Am it's $209 for the black and like two, almost $230 for the purple. Amazon almost messed me up on what I was doing today. I needed a price match and mm -hmm. Amazon took the price off because they ran out. What the hell? Good thing Walmart had it for the same price I wanted it for. Okay, go ahead. Oh, it has styrofoam. Uh, it has styrofoam. You hold the box. I got it, I got it. Let's just go. No, you're gonna make it worse. Just go, just go, let go, let go. <laughs> just hold it lightly. Hold it lightly. Right. Joshua doesn't like the styrofoam. Okay, it has advanced George Tough nonstick coating. Three times more durable. I guess he knows the thing is sticking. One inch hinge for thick burgers and sandwiches. Exclusive fat removing slope. What the hell is that? Dishwasher safe. Ain't nobody using no dishwasher up in here. Oh, that's big. That's white? It's silver. Joe wasn't supposed to be white? I guess it's silver. White look like silver. I mean, it could go either way on the box. This is the second time Joe buys something and he's silver and Joe say white. I think something wrong. You, your cataract will get worse. <clears throat> okay, so this come out. They are come out. I can see. Right away. Can you guys see this right here? See? So. I want this Much to be better clean. To clean. Mm -hmm. I, I always clean the grill. Somebody don't clean the grill. Okay, right here to this come out. Right here to. I love it mm -hmm. already. So way better than the other one. Cool. Oh, the other one did too, didn't it? Mm-hmm. We have a nice long thing, yeah? A little drip pan. Can you see this on this camera right here? You can see this. Is this supposed to go on this one? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. No. It's supposed to go on mm -hmm. You're fitting it? Yeah, there you go. We're just sitting You there. just push up against it. It's on the wire. There you go. That's it? Yeah. Okay, make me a burger. 
We got one more burger left. But we have put this. We don't have no counter space. I just treat it like the other way. Put it in the back until we need it. <laughs> you guys. Okay, let me shut off this one. <clears throat> How's your day going? <laughs> this is my vlogmas. You're my vlogmas, okay? It's going to be a public video. That's fine. Is that a private video? Good? Okay. So I had, to, I had to pick a big fight with this lady on Facebook, Joshua. Why? So she comes at me and she starts to tell me that I have to put something on my head because hair hey, gonna drop in at the food. Well, First of all, she came on a mukbang to tell me that. Oh, and of who course, cares? of course, she looked bald, no ras. Okay, she looked like a bald headed. And I'm not trying to knock bald headed people because I'm bald headed myself. All right, right here. You guys just don't see it because yeah. I don't turn around. Hell, your husband's bald. But she, um, I'm like. Would you say this to Martha Stewart? Right. Would you say this to Rachel Ray? And I asked her that for real though. I'm legit asking. Nobody tells them to put to tie their hair up. Exactly. It's like, come on, this is a show. I don't cater food. And I said, I'll wear my hair how I want to wear it. You know why I get so like, you know, really freaking mad about it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you know why I get mad when they tell me about my hair though? Growing up, my mom never wanted me to wear my hair out because she didn't want the hair to drop in the food. So I always had to be in plaits or tied up in a bun. And I just wanted my hair out like a wild, crazy child. So the minute I became of age, I started wearing my hair down, and that's it. I even wore it down for my wedding. Mm. <laughs> oh, wedding anniversary coming up, Joshua, in eight days. Eight days. How many more days left before um, life gets good again? 39? 38, 39, 38? something like that. God. My man doing the most. This. What is today, Saturday? Saturday the 12th. Sweet. I don't know, I feel like I'm forgetting some iceberg. Oh, daddy stuff was supposed to come today. Joe's ancestry DNA. I'm not even lying, guys, that it didn't come. It didn't come. Oh, they yeah. said the estimated date was uh, the 21st of December. Then they changed it to the 12th of December. And we've checked a couple of times. So I haven't checked in the last four hours or so. Maybe it'll come at midnight, huh? Maybe. Maybe. My main thing is I don't want it to come and then I open it and accidentally see what he is. I want us to like be shocked at the same time. I forgot to say how to cook. Hold on. <laughs> Peoples, hold on. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, it's just for the vlog. Okay. <laughs> I don't take the cooking show already. I love these towels he bought. They were like eight, eight dollars. Oh, I said, Bali, you want to let you got money? You got $8 he said, he said he thought it was 4 bucks. <laughs> okay, let's take one. Go on, done. You got two out of that? Mm -hmm. Who's getting that medium sized one? Let's see this one. I think you need to put more water. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oof. Oof. yeah. That was pretty much melting. Okay. Give this belly another half hour. Because if I don't hear this beep, that the bone up. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take to make that big one? Um, two hours and twenty minutes. Ooh, those cakes! And people wonder why you charge for these cakes. They take a lot of time and a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. Um, John and I went on a ride today, Joshua. It was super duper cold. Mm. I had on uh, a th uh, like a shirt like this, yeah, and then my um, hoodie, and then another big jacket. And then my gloves, my cap, and it, my body was warm, but my fingertips were numb. Did and you then, have, have gloves? Yeah, but it's just like, I don't know why, the, um, even when you ride, your extremities get cold anyways. Mm. So um, we got down to 4.2 miles and back. When we got down there, it was, um, I, what was the thing again? I, I, condensation? Condensation. Condensation is the wet, right? Evaporation yes. is the dry. Yes. Condensation was just in my mask, that my mask was soaking wet. So I have to switch out to another mask. We gotta get you one of those uh, face guards so you can take your mask off when you ride. They said the face guard alone is safe. <sighs> Dr. Vin Gupta. Yeah. He said that the face guard alone <laughs> is not protection enough. You need a mask under the face. He's serious. Yeah. The man is a pulmonologist. Oh, by the way, Joe's nephew was doing so good today that he was able to sit up for a while with his wife and children outside for a little bit. Good. Praise God. Um, Charlie Pride passed today and Joe said, that somebody said it was the big C and not the other big C that everybody afraid of. The one no. The one that we're currently afraid of. The one that... 
hell wrong with that? What the hell is no, that anyway? They, they stay strong now. They're strong Is that now. an ant? Yes, they take two hits now. That sucker looked like it was flying. They leveled up. It's a flying ant. They were grinding <laughs> this whole year and now they can take two hits. <laughs> 2020 be doing the most this. All these animals are strong. You know? <laughs> Why is this losing weight though? Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm glad I went on the ride even though it was cold. But it, the minute you take your mask off and the wind gets in your nose, my chest hurts. I was like, oh no, put the mask back on. I do want to ride. I only rode what you guys want, but it was, it was enjoyable. You want to go? I just, I want to wake up early. You want to go early? I still wake up early. What time you want to go? No, don't, don't put me out of your guys. No masking because that'd take me out in the cold too much. <laughs> you use me as the skin. What time you want to go? Uh, what time was like the latest I can push it where you guys aren't like uh, for No, no, bloody right. 3 o'clock afternoon. No, 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 Like 1130? Okay, Are you up by maybe, then? Maybe, maybe. 1130 noon? Uh, noon, yeah, I could do noon. That's why I go do my run. So I could substitute that for so the run. So when you're on ride, that old bike or the Lee bike? The old bike. The old bike, the blue one? The Lee bike's too Lee. The Lee bike too Lee? <laughs> Daddy! Mm. Joshua said he want to go ride with you tomorrow, but we have to go like 1130 noon. You hear that? Uh -huh. I, I think we're gonna go come back and then go again. <laughs> that sounds like daddy. <laughs> no, when I come back, I have to show up because my sweat always itches me. Mm. What happened? What, what does that mean when your sweat itch you? I mean, itch like I you mean, wanna like. It's, it messes with you. Tear your skin out. Mm. So I gotta shower the minute I come back. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, I've been enjoying doing these vlogmases, but there are a lot to edit. Not because they're hard to edit, but because. It's every day, and every then I have day. to do the cooking. Josh, okay. let me tell you what happened last night. I'm editing a video with a big chicken uh -huh. in um, iMovie. I didn't do any voiceover yet, thank you Jesus. But I did all my cuts. Boom, the things um, crash. Hmm. Usually if it crashes like that and my video disappears, I can just go ahead and shut the computer off, put it back on again, and my video will appear, right, in the program? That's the first time that ever happened. Mm. I would have cried real tears if I had already done the voiceover. I, I, pretty much I would have scrapped that video. I wouldn't have put it up because I would. Right now I don't want to edit it again. That's what slowed me down and put it up yesterday's vlog must the 11th. Because I have to go re-edit that whole thing. I'm mad. Okay, Joshua's going to come and disinfect this. I think it's fine, right? No, I clean up all the crap here. Alright, I'll disinfect mm -hmm. it. Brenda, tell Joshua. The, the Rona's on that. Bye guys, see you tomorrow for Bloodbus Day 13. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.